Joint stars can see hundreds of miles into enemy territory and see troop movements and individual vehicles, tanks, armored personnel carriers, and of course, scuds. The display that the operator has uh, is really a map, electronically generated map of the area that he's looking at. It has roadways on it, it has borders on it, it has lakes, foliage, that sorts of thing. Overlaid onto that are uh, a series of little yellow dots, and each one of those dots is something that's moving. Anything that's moving, it'll come back as a little dot to the operator. Uh, what we're able to do then is to uh, put a bunch of these little dots together over time and make almost like a little cartoon strip uh, of the little dots in animation actually moving. Uh, in the early phases of any mission, uh, the targeteer is trying to assess what is going on really in his area of responsibility. So he'll sit, sit and look for, uh, say, 20 or 30 minutes at the, the patterns of movements of all these little dots, and he will try to decide whether those dot movements are make any sense. Is it an organized movement, for instance? Is it something that's indicative of a column of vehicles on the move? Is it just random movement? Maybe uh, some civilian traffic out there. Uh, if he doesn't see a column, a major organized movement on the way, he will sit and analyze the data and try to see if uh, any of the movement is uh, going toward a specific place and stopping. Uh, if he detects that, we'll take a synthetic aperture radar picture, one of these radar snapshots, if you will, and see what has stopped. Uh, we were very successful at that in the war in that we were able to cue ourselves through the moving vehicle mode of the radar to areas where uh, the Iraqis were actually building up uh, assembly areas. And due to the array of the vehicles